Hey guys, BMW Chris W. Today we're doing a video review of the 2018 BMW X5 with the third row seating package. Let's get started. All right, so let's get started. Here it is. This is the 2018 BMW X5. This is the dark graphite metallic. You can see down here, there's your fog lights. There's what the rims look like. There's different rims you can choose for the car. This is the xDrive 35i with the aluminum running boards on it, which with the reflection kind of makes it look like a nice kind of triangle shape. Here's a little bit of what the car looks like. Here's your LED tail lights. Very nice styling. <laughs> Very sharp looking car. So in this review, we're gonna go over the car, storage compartment area, cargo, and check out how the third row seats operate. This particular vehicle has the Mocha Dakota leather. Really nice material, very nice soft leather. Some storage compartments down there. These here are your digital displays. And it even tells you right now the rear seats are not locked, but uh, I'll show you how to do that. Storage compartment. Some cup holders there. Down here you would find your USB auxiliary. Even this is a really nice material, the coat of leather with the awesome stitching all the way around. And that's your beautiful wood trims you can get on the sides. This is the 2018, so it has the latest iDrive. This is what it looks like. It's a touch screen as well. It responds instantaneously, there's no lag whatsoever. You tap it and it goes right away, which is what I really like. It's a very fast responding screen. Or alternative, you control by the iDrive wheel. Shortcut buttons there. This is also a touch pad, you can write on it. I'll show you how that works. More and more useful as you can scroll through, which I'll show you in a, in a, in a minute. Okay, this is what your navigation looks like. So you get your radio, Bluetooth, vehicle settings and notifications. Car share service is the car's own personal assistant. You have your weather here, maps, news, all that stuff. Lots you can do with it. This particular one has heated seats. You can get heated and cooled seats with, when you option it out a little more. Those little clamp controls. A nice heated steering wheel as well, which is a nice uh, leather material as well. Heat the steering wheel is back here, power tilt. These buttons here are for the uh, sport mode. When you put the car in sport mode, it adjusts the engine, gas pedal, brake pedal, makes and the steering wheel feedback makes it more tighter, more aggressive of a driving experience. There's the eco displays. What happens in eco mode is it makes the car about 20% more fuel efficient depending on how you drive it. How it does that is it has a coasting mode as well so when you're driving you can see there's a charge meter there. When you uh, take your foot off the gas when you're driving there's kinetic energy that's converted into electricity which then powers the electronics and uh, save about 20% more fuel. And there's a charge meter whenever you hit the brakes it, it uses that energy as well to charge the battery. Also, it, uh, it, the gas pedal makes it less uh, sensitive, so you have to push a little bit further to get it going, but you still have the full power there as well. The car some nice ambient lighting in here, especially if you look at the back, you can really see it there. 
So if you want to change the lights, you can go to your vehicle settings, lighting, and here you have a few options here. You got orange, white, and blue. You can do an orange. This looks really nice. It tells you that right there on the right what the difference uh, difference it looks like. You can do a white, which is pretty nice. And then the blue, which is my favorite. I like the blue the most. You can change the brightness here too if you think it's a little too dark. All right, turn it down, turn it up. So everything I'm controlling is by the wheel here. Now let's go check out the back and with the uh, with the third row. The easiest way to get into the back. Well, well, the third row, I mean, is from the passenger side because uh, it's just the one seat here where those two are connected together. So that one's actually harder to pull up, but this one's a lot easier. And this is what the, uh, the back looks like. Climate controls back here, heated seats. Very nice, comfortable place to be. So to get to the back, you pull this handle up and the whole thing moves forward and just like so it's a fairly good size entry and then those would be your seats in the back it's a little dark in the showroom right now I figure I turn the flash on this is what the seats look like back here and they have a nice air vents and cup holders back there as well these seats are mainly designed for uh, small children but uh, it works you can definitely fit a couple children back here. The middle row reclines as well. There's a button you pull back here. If you want to sit up straight or recline back. There's a few different settings you can choose from. Nice center console here as well. A little bit of storage. Cup holders. Okay. Sometimes on these brand new cars it gets a little sticky down there but it'll work every time it's just because this is a brand new car still has a nice smell in it and that's what the ambient lighting looks like a little more at night very sharp looking okay nice big sunroof here's what the sh sun shades look like okay All right, nice wood trim is carried over onto the back you have nice stitching here on the back as well. All the details, even the door handle here is all nicely stitched. Beautiful, beautiful car indeed. Let's go check out the cargo, shall we? The trunk. This power tailgate. With the X5s, you get a nice little picnic table here. This will support up to 440 pounds. You can even sit on this. You can have two people sitting on here, and it's uh, it's very comfortable. It's very sturdy. You have a little storage down there if needed. Some nets. Ideally, that's what it looks like. Now you can also fold these down as well, headrests. Right. Okay, and then at this point, you will be able to uh, fold these down, which is very easy. Just push them forward like that. And now you have just as much room as you would in a normal X5, which is plenty of cargo space if you need that extra room. So it's very nice and versatile how you can uh, fold up those rear seats when you need them. 
or when you don't need them, just fold them back up. The car does also come with the, uh, the part here for your, for your cargo. It's just when you would pop back in to these slots here, but you would actually have to, uh, you would need to actually fold the seats down first before you can put that in there because they would otherwise be right in the middle of the way. So if you need the seats um, down, you can either throw the, uh, throw the piece into the trunk here and fits, lots of room, or you can keep it in your garage and just keep the seats folded down or up just like that. Okay, and then you got your seat belts there and you need it, etc. These are some uh, nice utility pins here. You can slide these around to lock them in. Right. And then of course power tailgate. This one closes the tailgate, that one closes and locks the whole car. Very good looking car, very use usable as well. This is BMW Chris W. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.